want to save a ton of money on preparing your own quick claim deed or warranty deed or special warranty deed or ladybird deed stay tuned we're going to show you out Okay, so if you are trying to get your own deed done, whether it's a ladybird deed, quick claim deed, warranty deed, special warranty deed, etc., etc., deeds of conveyance, they're called, this video is for you. We're going to explain some of that. Or if you are a notary and you don't want to piss your customers off so you want to know how to correctly notarize these, this video is also for you. For a disclaimer, we are non-attorneys and we cannot give you legal advice. However, this is for strictly entertainment purposes. And also, if you don't want to spend you know, $500 or so, you're going to want to watch this video. Well, we do prepare tons and tons and tons and tons and tons of legal documents. Okay, so we are Mark and Grace. We own Noble Notary Signing Service, which is a division of our, of our company that dispatches mobile notaries out to go witness and execute, i.e. notarize documents such as this. We also own Noble Notary Legal Document Preparers, which prepare these type of documents pretty much for a fraction of what you'd expect to pay a title company or a real estate attorney. So what do we need to know before we can prepare this? Well, you need to know exactly what type of deed you're looking for. Um, there are several types. There's, you've got your warranty deeds, your quick claim deeds, your ladybird deeds. We are not going to go into great detail. This is something that you need to know. Um, we do know the function of each thing, but we can't give legal advice. So when people come to us, they say, we need this. And you need to know if that's appropriate for the situation. Absolutely. Secondly, what you're going to want to know is what we call vesting that. Now, I'm going to say right here, your clerk of court, your county clerk of court is probably going to be one of your best resources for those issues. Sometimes the tax appraiser will list exactly how they're vested. There's several different ways. There's tenants in common, tenants in entirety, uh, tenants with survivorship rights. Again, we're not going to go into all that. You kind of need to know that if you're going to do it yourself. Um, then you need to get the legal information that's going to be required and, of course, the deed forms. Now, another disclaimer, deed forms that you would get from Rocket Lawyer or Legal even Zoom. Legal Zoom, or even at like the Office Depot type stores, they are skeleton. <laughs> they are skeletons of the They're really form. hard to fill out because they don't give you a whole lot of information. They try to make it a little too one size fits all rather than specific. And speaking of specific, the majority of what we're talking about today pertains particularly to Florida, which is where we yes. particularly do our deeds. Mm -hmm. Dirty yeah. deeds. Dirty cheap. deeds. cheap. <laughs> okay. All right. So next. So we go to the clerk of court. We get our information. Then what we need to do is put that information on here, who has the property and they're giving it to who for what reason and how much, um, which is usually a dollar. Yeah, yeah. And then you're gonna look up on the county, so to record it, you're gonna wanna know what the recording process and fees are. Typically on those deeds, you need a little space on this side of it to where the county clerk can record that one in public records because you do need it recorded in public records. Yeah. Uh, now, the next step, I would say, probably is going to be the witness and execution part, right? Yeah, and it's well noted that now on all the deeds, um, in Florida deeds, that you have to include for the witness, you have to include their addresses. So you, there has to be a line for that as well. And if there isn't a line, you need to just write it in. They need to write in their address as well. Now, little known fact, the notary can actually be one of the two witnesses required yep. in Florida. Yeah. So uh, if you are preparing these documents for a client, you can offer a traveling service with your notary service and a witness, you know, bring along a witness with you. And if you are doing it yourself, just know that you need to make those arrangements as well as figure out that recording process. Uh, now, another thing that's worth mentioning is if you're getting the deed notarized online, you need to check with your county clerk because a lot of times they're requiring that the deed be electronically submitted if it was electronically notarized. I have qualms about that, but this is just something we found Follow out. All their rules, yeah. So now let's go on into the actual notarization process or the execution process on one of these. 
So this particular form is a quick claim deed, and the quick claim deed needs to have a prepared by on here. It has to be an actual person. It can be the person and their business name, but it can't just be the business name. Ironically, we were actually sending notaries to do one for an attorney. We caught that mistake for her um, and quickly pointed it out. But anyway, so the, where the property, the county the property resides in will be here. And so if you are the person signing or the notary, you're gonna to wanna to put, of course, the date and the month in there if they're left blank. And you're gonna to wanna to check those names and make sure those people are in fact the ones who are doing what they're wanting to do. Now in Florida, the grantor or grantors are the ones that need to sign, okay? And then of course the notary, you are going to verify the identification of them to make sure that they actually are who they say they are. And then they will sign and then the witnesses will sign, witnesses will print their name, witnesses will write their addresses in. Now down here is what we would call the notarial certificate. So here you would write the county where you are, okay? So this could be property in Broward, but notary and the people signing in Brevard. Just write your county in here, whether it was physically present or online. Again, the date, make sure that those are the names of the people who you've seen an ID, what kind of ID you saw, sign your name, put your commission expiration date, make a nice clean impression on this, okay? So what we don't want with this is we don't want it running in the margin. We don't want it upside down. Um, and we want it to be a nice clean seal so we don't want to have what I would call a misfire which would look something like that where it's kind of an incomplete. If you did that on accident, of course, you could just line it out, initial it, and then refire. It's also worth noting, more importantly, if you are preparing that document, you're going to want that parcel identification number. Mark, show them the, where the parcel goes. So we have the parcel ID here. And again, you can get it from the clerk of court and then it'll usually appear again down here in the legal description. Okay, so now if you are preparing your own uh, deed, whether that's one of the many that we have or that are offered, and you don't want to go through all of that, it can be tedious, it, there's a lot of knowledge involved, um, you can hire somebody like us. So this is our company, Noble Notary and Legal Document Preparers. So let me kind of walk you through what, what usually happens. We'll have a client that will call, uh, they'll say, I need a ladybird deed. Perfect, we offer that. All of our deeds run $175. We also have a full service where we will send a notary and a witness for $350. That includes the recording fee as well. Normally, uh, in the state of Florida, with the deeds that we prepare, a quick claim deed, it runs what, $19.20 to record. Yeah. Charge a per page fee, but we try to keep it to two pages. Yes, we always try to keep it short so it's less cost. The Ladybird deeds are $18.50, so that full service that we offer is um, preparing that document. We will give you that document in PDF to approve. Once approved, of course we take payment. We'll secure a notary and a witness and set a day and a time that's uh, convenient to you to sign, you and whoever party needs to sign. Then that notary will mail that off to your co your county clerk and to that's, us. or to us and we'll yep. mail it to we'll the county clerk. everything, yep. yeah. It's usually about a week turnaround time. Uh, there's other services that we can, you know, you don't have to do. Uh, we can just prepare the document for $175. Um, I, we had a gentleman that wanted them to walk it into their own county clerk because they needed it that day. So we really try to accommodate the client, but this is what we do. We love what we do. We want to help you guys. If you want to learn how to prepare these documents, we also offer a course as well. Um, very voluminous, lots of information. We go over everything like this so that you can start your own business as well. Yeah, so there it is. If you need to get it prepared or if you are a notary looking to go out and notarize and make sure they're done right, you've got it right there.